Brent, these fenders really look great. There's only one way they're gonna look better. Ooh, if it's on there. On <laughs> the car. Yeah. All right, so we're here to tell you about hanging a fender. And we don't mean a guitar, we mean a car fender. So, a couple things, you tell me what you need. So he's dropping the flange on his end down where it has to go, like that. Now, on Brent's end, at this point, these first couple bolts, there's not a lot of wiggle room because they just kind of go where they go. But what's going to make this thing work as far as alignment goes so it looks good on the body is a big oversized hole here in the top of the fender. It's about a three-quarter inch hole through which we're going to put a three-eighths inch bolt, so there's quite a bit of wiggle room. There's a similar hole down under the bottom, so that can get manipulated as well in order to get all the parts aligned. Now, this is a great tip that Brent's doing, but we're not talking about yet, which is he's using a tapered pin in one hole in order to get alignment on the next hole. So a lot of times, as you try to manipulate these parts, you can't quite get the bolts in where they're supposed to go. So by using a tapered pin, through the holes, you can get everything to line up, then you can start getting a bolt in there. And you definitely don't want to get anything too tight um, because all these holes are just a little bit, seems like they're always just a little bit off. What we're looking at now is how the top of the fender comes across the top of the door. And these actually, just as they sit here, these are really good. If they're not, then, what we can do is add shims to the equation. So these shims are U-shaped. So as a result, the bolt can be in place. We could raise the fender just a little bit, slide the shim between the fender bracket and the top of the body. The shims being shims, that means they're all different thicknesses. So we can adjust accordingly in order to get the body to lay exactly where we want it to. So everything lines up just right, but incredibly lucky guy that you are. These look pretty good. How's the gap? Well, that's, I'm pushing on it just a little bit, so. Okay. So what Brent's asking about now is using the wiggle room that we have in that big diameter hole, I can slide this way forward, or if I just let it relax, it comes back. So sequence of events is really important. We hung the door first, or we hanged the door first. What did we do first? We put the door on. We put the door on, yeah. And then, once the door is on, we came to the fender. Now we're gonna set the fender to the door, checking this gap as we go, so that it's uniform as we work our way down. And if I had the right ratchet, or you did, I think we could put some snuggicity on this bolt. Then keep in mind that we've got an oversized hole down here at the bottom of the fender, just like at the top. So we'll be able to pull that in and then control its position this way. And then also do this to control its position this way so that we can control the gap and the, keeping these in plane, the fender and the door in plane. So really Brent, this one went on really well. Yeah, take some, a lot of messing around. Sometimes you got to shim the front, shim the bottom. I mean, this one did actually go on really well. So we got we got lucky. <laughs> but again, on your particular vehicle, be patient. Use the shims as needed. Take time to get everything aligned just right, and the car's going to look great when you're done. What do you got left to do here? Just tighten up two bolts here, and then we got to put a couple in underneath the under the fender and the inside. Good to go.